Hello, and welcome to this demonstration on using the NCSS statistical system. In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to perform a statistical analysis with NCSS. As an example, we'll analyze a data set that includes height and weight measurement from 14 men and 6 women. The goal of the analysis will be to create a model that can be used to predict a male's weight based on his height. The data set includes records for both males and females, so we'll need to exclude the females before running the analysis. To open the data set, click Open on the toolbar and then select the file. We'll load the data set called Regression for this example. If your data is stored in another format like Excel or Access, that's no problem because NCSS imports all major statistical and data file formats. The Summary Statistics table provides quick summaries of the data in each column. It's easy to change the statistics that are shown in the table. Each time the data are changed, the Summary Statistics table is automatically updated. In this data set, gender is stored in the third column. We'll set a filter there so that only males are included in the analysis. Simple point and click tools make this easy. Notice that the display changes to indicate that some rows are now being excluded. The summary table is also updated to reflect the newly filtered data. NCSS includes a comprehensive list of statistics and graphic procedures. To perform a simple linear regression, use the menu or the procedure navigator to locate and load the linear regression procedure. The procedure window makes it easy to set up the analysis because all of the options are located on a single input screen. As you mouse over the various options, the Help pane provides in-depth information. If you'd like more help, click on the Help button to display the procedure documentation, which contains technical details and examples. Each procedure in NCSS is fully documented. Since our goal is to predict weight based on height, we'll select weight as the dependent variable and height as the independent variable. By default, all of the reports and plots we probably need are already selected. But let's go to the Plots tab to edit the Y versus X scatter plot. We'll choose new plot colors and include prediction limit lines. Notice that the format window displays a sample graph so we can see how each option change affects the plot. With the option specified, click the green Run button to perform the analysis. The report is displayed in the Output window. Use the navigation pane to quickly jump to various selections in the report. The Regression Estimation section of this report states the model we can use to make predictions about a man's weight using height. The scatter plot gives a graphical representation of this relationship. Double-click the graph to enlarge it. All plots can easily be saved to any one of several file formats. You can also save the entire report or easily cut and paste individual sections into a document or presentation. As you can see, it's easy to perform a statistical analysis and create compelling graphs in NCSS all in a matter of minutes. NCSS is powerful, comprehensive, and easy to use. And if you ever have any questions, our support team of PhD statisticians will be happy to assist you. To purchase NCSS or to obtain a no-obligation free trial, visit ncss.com. Thank you for watching.